Hi, this is Nick Millington, leader of the Safety Task Force. I'm out and about again. I thought it was time for a check-in. And today I'm here in a very sunny South London. I'm here at Abbey Wood Station. And in this check-in today, I'm going to sample the Elizabeth Line, which is a blueprint for a modern high-frequency railway that must be reliable. And more importantly, a railway where we do not have to put track workers to work in front of moving trains. So I thought I'd give a progress report on the Safety Task Force. The Safety Task Force was set up three years ago, nearly three years ago now, and our primary focus is to reduce or indeed eliminate the risk of track workers being struck by trains. Our headline measure is near misses between track workers and trains, and I'm really pleased to say that over the course of nearly three years we've reduced near misses now by 70%. I'll come on to the other 30% later in this check-in. So, what are we up to in the safety task force at the moment? So a few things, um, we have now a rolling program of warning system deployment. So train activated warning systems, which are safer than, than human activated warnings. So safer than lookouts. We've now got a rolling program that looks forward at least 18 months and we will be commissioning um, nearly 200 um, train activated warning systems. And we've got plans to extend beyond that to, to, to put warning systems where they're needed, where it will help us to sustain our maintenance plan. Um, protection of line blockages, I'm really pleased to see across the network, across our routes, that um, the protection of line blockages, be it site of work or full additional protection, is climbing um, very sustainably, so we're protecting more line blockages. We take 25,000 line blocks every four weeks, and it's a real credit to the teams that are planning in more detail, collaborating between work deliverers and operations to make sure that line blockage plans are clear, uh, they're protected and they're delivered um, uh, as best as we possibly can and, and also um, using the very best safety critical communications. On previous check-ins you'd have heard me talk about our collaborative planning system, Rail Hub, and um, I'm really pleased to say that on June the 6th, Western Route and Wales Route um, went live with Rail Hub, which now means we've got five routes, which is two regions, that's 6,000 users, all um, working using our Rail Hub, which is our collaborative, safer and simpler planning system, our Safe Work Pack system, and that's real progress. The, also, I'm pleased to say that the, the teaching has, has now started in Wessex Route and Anglia Route, and we'll be going live there soon, and we continue Kent and Sussex, we go up the, um, up the eastern region and we finish in Scotland in approximately November. So really good to see the planning system that's safer and simpler being rolled out right across the country. I'm really pleased also um, geofencing. So we do have a proportion of track workers that get disorientated. We've trialled geofencing equipment, which is all now fully approved. And I'm really pleased to say that in one of our regions now, we are um, deploying a geofencing solution that will help track workers um, maintain a um, situational awareness at all time and it'll give them a, a reminder warning when they stray out of their, their safe area. I've just come up from the Elizabeth Line. I'm here now at Canary Wharf, which is a, a beautiful station in the, in the business district of London. And whilst I'm here, I just wanted to do a recap. Now, earlier in this check-in, I mentioned the 30% of near-miss events that continue to happen. So on average now each year, we are still observing between 20 and 25 near-miss events where track workers uh, narrowly avoided being struck by trains. Now, if you look at those events, there are two dominant causations. The first one, which is 50% of the residual near misses, um, happen when either an individual or teams go on our railway with either no safe work pack or an incorrect safe work pack. So there's an obvious opportunity to improve here. Um, you should only go on the railway if you absolutely need to. If you need to go on the railway in advance of that work, you make sure you've got a safe work pack, you make sure you're familiar with the plan, you make sure you're familiar with the location and the work you've got to do, and you stay inside the arrangements of that safe work pack. In Network Rail, obviously, we're investing in Rail Hub, and that will help us get simpler, more collaborative and safer safe work packs, so it should get easier, and there are no excuses to, to not have a safe work pack that is accurate and safe. The second most dominant causation is where, uh, or takes place where individuals or teams become disorientated. 
So they've accidentally or deliberately strayed outside of their outside of their safe work area, their protected zone. There's a number of things that we can all do here. So I mentioned we're rolling out geofencing in one of our regions, and um, we'll look to invest further in geofencing. But there are other things, simple things that we're doing, like site signage and making sure that there is good wayfinding on the railway. But um, to be honest, it comes down to the individuals, the, the COSs and the persons in charge. You need to be um, absolutely consciously aware at all times of where your safe work areas are and you, uh, you keep yourself and your teams inside that safe work area. Time to wind up my safety task force update for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. As usual, I've got to thank thousands of people for the work you've done over the last two to three years improving track worker safety. But um, I guess a parting thought from, from Nick, um, just because we are safer doesn't mean to say we are always safe. And from now on, everybody needs to really focus on creating the safest possible plan, making sure that that plan is captured in a safe work pack that everybody knows the arrangements inside that plan, making sure that we've got good local knowledge before we go on the railway, making sure we use the best possible safety critical communications and then delivering that plan and keeping yourselves and your teams inside that safely protected area. So thanks also to everyone who's worked on the Elizabeth line, that was fantastic by the way. So I'm at Paddington now and for those of you that know me, you'll know this is my gateway to, to travelling home which I'm going to do in a minute. Um, stay safe everyone, all the best. Goodbye.